Now in this example, we've got to express arc sine x in terms of y. And this is quite tricky. In fact, according to the examiners, not many people actually got this answer. In fact, fewer than 10% got this answer. So, let's show you how we do it. Well, if we start with y equals arc cos x, now I don't like that notation. I much prefer to write inverse cos of x. And what that would mean, that if we rearrange this, if we take the cosine uh, to both sides, we get cosine y, or cos y for short, equals x. Now we've got to find arc sine x, so I'm going to let z, if you like, equal arc sine x. So we've got to find this value, the value of z. So if I sine both sides, I've got the sine of z equals x. Now then, let's have a look at this concept here. Cos y equals x and the sine of z equals x. Well, if I draw a quadrant diagram, we know that y is somewhere between naught and pi radians. So that's somewhere in these two quadrants. Now, that would mean that y could be in this quadrant. So if I was to complete the triangle like this, then this angle here could be angle y. And we know that the cosine of y is x. And this is the same as adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I put this x as x divided by 1, then the adjacent side is x and the hypotenuse is 1. And I can mark that on this diagram. There's the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. We're just marking the right angle there. And by Pythagoras' theorem, we could work out this side here. Remember that 1 squared, the hypotenuse squared, equals this side squared plus this side squared. So this side squared becomes 1 squared minus x squared. And then we'd need to square root that answer to get this side. So this side is, by Pythagoras' theorem, the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, we're told that the sine of z equals x. So, where could z be? Well, when you look at this diagram here, you can see that this angle up here is really z, because sine compares opposite over hypotenuse. And if I mark this in as x divided by 1, then the opposite side would be x, and the hypotenuse would be 1. And that's what you get if you place z here. Opposite x over hypotenuse 1. Sine of z is x over 1, x. So what is z? Well, we can see that z's an angle, obviously. But in terms of y, what we should know is that z plus angle y plus 90 degrees, but we must be working radians, okay, so we'll call that pi upon 2. z plus y plus pi upon 2, the three angles of the triangle here, make up the equivalent in degrees of 180 degrees, which in radians is pi. So if I rearrange this for z, we have that z equals pi, and if I subtract these two terms from both sides, we've got pi minus pi upon 2 minus y. So therefore, z is equal to, or well, pi take away pi upon 2 is pi upon 2, and then we have minus y. Well, we wanted to know what arc sine x was equal to in terms of y. Well, it's equal to z, and z is equal to this, so therefore we can wind this up by saying arc sine x 
is equal to pi upon 2 minus y. And there you have it.